friends and welcome back to the channel today we are going to be completing another episode of a builder's limit so grab some popcorn i don't know we are about to build with a jungle adventure before we get started with this week's episode i have some builds to show from like two or three episodes again i completely forgot to show them and it was my fault so i do want to show you guys they're from the week when we did spa day so first up, we have our build by Lilacs of May. They did a luxury spa. I'm super excited. I already commented on it and everything, but I just want to let you guys see them. Because I did put a lot of work into these and they deserve to get shown. And honestly, this is so great. I love the shell of this one so much. And look at all of these windows. It's amazing. I think the shell is a lot better than mine's personally. And so when you walk in, we have a little seating area. You can come in here and there's some gym equipment, which I really really like this room and how it's kind of curved right here. We have bathrooms over here. I love the lockers right here. Fun fact, guys, I did mistake these lockers for fridges in my build. So if you ever downloaded it, you would have to remove those and like put them in an appropriate spot because I kind of put them in the kitchen. I love this little area so much. Like look how fancy it looks with the lights and the seating and the bar. It's just wonderful. Over here on this side, we just have more bathrooms. Back here, we actually have pools, which is really nice. They're like little spa pools. That's super cool. I like how they're different sizes. And then when we go upstairs, we have a huge open space for yoga, which is so nice. The fish tank. Over here, we have some more massage, some more bathrooms, another sauna. And then if we go up one more floor, we have another little seating area. You have somewhere where you can get a massage. You have more lockers. We have a little kitchen over here, which is nice. And then more bathrooms. This build was actually really amazing. I love how they incorporated all the items. It doesn't look just like placed everywhere. Everything was really intentional. Beautiful. Next, we have our build by Friday or five on a Friday spa temple house. We have a little description right here. I always love them. And if you look, it's actually so cool. This design is like really complicated or at least it looks that way to me. And I love how they have this little ball up here. But coming in, you have this giant middle area. You can come and sit around this huge block right here if you come over here here is the kitchen where you can get food and everything I love that that's there like when you first walk in you can go and get food at the spa you wrap around and over here we have some more seating we have a radio we have a nice bar over here I love how that's lit up and it's like dark in this area you have workout equipment of course bathrooms you have yoga over here you have some massage stuff which I love I love the layout of this this. You come upstairs, you have so many different saunas. I love that. And you have a bedroom or two. That is so cool. This one has its own bathroom. Lucky. But yeah, and I love the little sculptures they placed everywhere. It's just wonderful. I love this build so much. I love the design of it. It looks so cool. And I can tell you actually spent some time on this. Now, for this week's episode. Okay, so here you can see I already kind of did our shell. I did the outside. Um, the it's it's not the prettiest, it's not my finest work, but we're here in the jungle adventure world. I think it's like San Salva, um, you know, <laughs> I'm so sorry. But yeah, this is the outside. And then on the inside, the top floor, we have a mini bathroom, probably like a half bathroom, some space up here. I, I don't know what this room is going to be, probably just like some random stuff. And then down here, we're gonna have kitchen, living, like a dining table, maybe some decorations or something in this middle spot, and then a bedroom. And then these are items that we have. It's not too many, it's actually a good amount of stuff. Um, we can definitely make a fully functional place. It's just like, is there a little bit too much, you know, uh, for this lot at least. But firstly, I mean, we do have these things and I kind of wanted to put them around to maybe make my build look a tad bit better. So we can definitely do that. It's just that like, I don't, I don't know where they go. Also guys, I am aware that For Rent came out and I will definitely be getting that so that I can make a video next week. So make sure you guys subscribe if you're new or turn on your notification bells if you haven't so that you'll be able to see me play around with it a little bit. Oh wow, this is very interesting. Where do I put it? Like down here maybe? I feel like that's kind of cool, right? Guys, I don't know. I'm not good with, you know, all this stuff right here, like outside stuff and trying to make it look good. I just feel like... <sighs> 
some people are just meant to be bad at certain things you know okay and i mean we do have like these purple flowers here they're like humongous but i guess maybe we can make something work with them probably it's a big probably because these things are humongous and look how much they come off the wall like what am i supposed to do with this this looks awful you don't have to lie to me this is um it's something that's really all i can say it's something i'm i just i want to move on to the inside that's what i want to do <laughs> so i think that's what we're gonna do and we can start off with this fireplace that came with the pack it's actually really cute i like it i uh i didn't know this existed like i really did not know that we had this this is cute. I feel like this is nice, but the sofa's kind of like this. We just have to find, like, a nice color to kind of go with everything. Which is the hard part, considering this place is very colorful. But it's, like, colorful in a weird way, you know? It's, it's hard to explain. I think we'll just stick with these. And then we can get us one of these nice rugs. I really like this big one right here. Hopefully it fits. Perfect. Of course it does. I love it. And I want to use this one, but it's like now the sofa's <sighs> colorful in a weird way. I don't know, like what color, to, should I just make them orange at this point? Is it the, is it the fireplace? That's like throwing everyone off. Should I make it like this? Or maybe like this blue, it's pretty. It kind of matches the tile on here. I think we can do that. But what if we made like, no, they don't really match. I mean, this one does right here. And that's actually a really cute set. Now I just think it's the rug that's messing it up. Unless we do like this color. Okay, I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna leave it and then we'll come back to it. Hopefully, maybe. I know I usually say that a lot. I'll come back to it and then I never do. But um, this time will be different. Hmm, and then I'm tempted to use this dark brown on the table. But it kind of like blends in with the floor. Should we get something that doesn't blend in so much? I don't know. And see, like I'm also not really feeling the colors that come on the chairs. We do have some other ones. These ones right here. We can see what kind of colors this one has. Hmm. See, I think I like that a lot more. So we can keep one of these chairs and kind of just put it here and then delete the other one. I like the yellow. I feel like it brings in some from like... I don't know, the living room on the rug and like in the kitchen right here. And then we can move on to the kitchen. We're flying by this. This is going to be done quick. This is going to be a very quick episode. I don't think it'll be as long as the one that was last week. What was that? City living? Good grief. We're definitely going to, we're going to finish this one fast. There's not really a lot of items. They're just kind of complicated. Um, unless you don't make them complicated like me, then, then it won't be complicated. Do we, we like the yellow counters i think i like them i think i like them because of what we have on the wall and because of the chairs in the dining room and i think i want to keep them although i'm not sure if it's like overboard and do we have a sink i think we do have a sink but it's more like a bathroom sink yeah unless we could make it work in here which we probably could honestly it looks like it integrates very well Ooh, a c that's perfect i love it oh my gosh that's literal perfection i'm i'm quite literally in love with that so much and then we just need one for the stove which can go like right here which i don't think we have a stove so no nor do we have a fridge so i'm gonna use base game for those two things and i'm probably just gonna use this one right here and then a regular fridge this one and then as for bar stools i'm not sure if we got any unless this is a bar stool right here it looks like it yay perfect and the color is nice we don't even have to change it i'm in love i love it picasso cool beans and then when we come back we can add decorations and all kinds of stuff perfect i love it so much do we don't have like a little air vent i guess i'll just put that too guys i um huh, i used other base game stuff on the outside too frankly i don't do what you want <laughs> do what you want the, the rules have changed like so many times i don't <laughs> Just use the pack. Use every item in the pack that we're using and then you can use whatever other base game thing you want. It doesn't it doesn't matter. Just have fun. I'm in love with this kitchen. Okay, let's stop talking about it. And I think the next thing we're gonna do is this bedroom right here. Oh. And we also have four more wallpapers to use. And I have no idea what to do with them. Hmm. I don't know. 
I feel like if I had like a different room like out here, like another kind of special room separated from the house, I can do something with this. So I think that's what I'm gonna do and put these over here until I figure it out. As for beds, this is going to be the master bedroom right here. Um, no, it's not weird. There, there's just an archway, okay? It's not. People do that all the time. Just have giant open archways into their room. No privacy. It's okay. Oh, wait. I just realized we have stuff on this wall too. And we do have a fridge and a stove. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Forget what I said. You guys are still limited to three base game items. And it comes in this yellow. Wow. What is this thing right here? This is actually very interesting. I have no idea. But you know what? I wanted to make a room upstairs where we had like a bunch of sculptures and stuff. I think I'm gonna put this here. Since it's like a cabinet for like collectibles or something. I don't know, curator? Yeah, curators or something. Ooh, and we have a dresser, which is perfect. We can go ahead and put that here. And then do we have some end tables of some sort? Okay, we can pick one of these. I'm thinking for the room we have, probably this one. See? It's cute. I love it. Beautiful. And then I think we should get a rug up in here too. There's one more, this one. And I feel like it's perfect for in here. I love this swatch already, but maybe there's a better one. Ooh, that one's actually pretty interesting and that one. But I think we're going to stick with this one right here. Put this flag up here. Put some lamps. Delete the base game light. And then other than that, that's really all we can get in that room right there. And I was thinking we can put this mirror like right here. I couldn't find room in there. So, I mean, on the outside is fine. Oh, I desperately wish we could, like, fit one of these plants in the room, though. I feel like that would have been perfect. Maybe we can in this corner. There we go. Now I'm happy. We're complete now. And then we do have this single bed right here. I was figuring that the single bed would go for this bedroom up here. And I was thinking about putting, like, two beds. Is that wrong of me? In this little space? Should I not put two beds? I feel like I should. Ooh, and this bed is cute. We can get another one. Ooh, this one. I like how they both have the yellow. And then this doesn't come in a different color. I mean, but it comes in like the trimming is different. So we can use this one. We have a giant table we can put in the middle of them and probably make it like white or like this gray color more like. And then we have this lamp we can set right here. Along with these lights, these metallic scones, I have no idea what this is, but we can definitely slide them here. So yeah, now the room is a little bit more lit up. Also very empty, but nothing a rug can't fix. And we can put that here. And this rug is actually perfect for this room too, but maybe let's find another one since the other room already has it. Ooh, this one is so cool. We can definitely do this. And see, that livened up the room just like that. It doesn't look so empty anymore. Maybe they deserve a plant though. I, I wouldn't mind giving them a plant. I quite like this one. We can probably put one like on both sides cute see and then as for like wall decorations i don't know they have like this spirit of the jungle thing they don't have any like regular paintings but they have all of this stuff right here i feel like maybe a skull one they would think is cool definitely sized down or not um sized back up maybe we can put the skull one like above this bed i don't know how comfortable i would feel with like <laughs> a skull rock right above my bed i feel like that would signify something bad but you know it's okay all right and with that that's this room complete it's really cute um the next thing i'm going to do is work on this downstairs bathroom right here okay so we seem to have everything for this bathroom except for a toilet which is okay because um we have a pee bush right here so if you need to use the bathroom all you gotta do is take a couple steps to the outside um yeah I mean, it's a, it's a little empty. It, uh, it could definitely use some work. I don't know. I think that I want to close this off right here. Or is it wrong for me to put the pea bush inside of the bathroom? I feel like that's not wrong, right? Right? I don't know. Me personally, I think that's what I'm gonna do. You, 
you can be normal all you want but i'm gonna put the pee bush inside the bathroom and then i do think i want to get a bathroom like window of some sort and i might get this one because i haven't used it anywhere else except there and we can put it like here see and that definitely helps it take up a lot of space so this is our bathroom it's really simple it's it's cool you know it's it's doing its thing and then upstairs we were gonna have another bathroom but hmm i don't know maybe we still can and just put a shower maybe not even a shower honestly we could put like a tub and a sink in here or just a tub at that point and then i don't know i'll find a plant or something to put in there but speaking of plants I definitely want to get this little thing in the bathroom down here and put it in this little corner. Nice! And then we don't have a mirror, but that's okay. It's gonna be fine. Whatever, we'll do decorations and stuff later. That's fine. Ooh, unless we can put like some of these in here. It would be a perfect spot, you know, just hide them along this wall over here because there's like too many of them. Okay, beautiful. Um, We just have this space up here to do a little bit of. And then upstairs, we have this giant hallway space. We have this crazy space right here. And then that'll be all the room. So let's check out everything else we have to do. A lot of stuff for like outside or like on the walls. We have a lot of kitchen stuff. We do have a coffee table that we can put in the living room just like that. And probably change the color to match with like the blue. And we do have this like kitchen thing right here, which is pretty cool. I just don't know where we would put it, right? Like, I don't, maybe like right here. It kind of makes sense just to put it right here. And we can also make it like this blue color to kind of go with everything else. And then, I mean, we have a couple of like pots, broken vases and stuff like that. We have these plants that are like stuck together. I know where we can put those. We can put those over here on this like porch area in the front. They fit perfectly right here. And then we can also put this little archeology span bench up on here unless no 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 no. yeah i want to put it in the front and then we can put the bar in the back because i plan to make like a little area which probably i don't know might go here or something kind of by the pool i just want this to be a cool little you know hangout spot we had this light that we can go ahead and stick in the living room and get rid of this light right here and this light right here wow these lights do like absolutely nothing like i put this light here and it's like barely lighting up anything which is actually crazy okay and then we have these things right here which go over some windows we can definitely go ahead and put these probably like here put one here we can get the big one and put it here and back here now as for over here we do have a lot of like ruins this random ancient circle of bunny thing we have this pedestal and this rock thing we have a bench which we can put back here and then we have a bar caddy we have so much stuff for the kitchen and i think i'm gonna go ahead and put those like right here yes yeah, something like this i think is pretty cool I guess we can like bring it up to kind of fit in here with the placement a little bit more. But yeah. Also, I feel like we're missing windows right here and I don't really like that. So let's go ahead and get this one here and place it on this side. And then we can get the one that goes on the other side and place it there. Okay, much better. From the outside, I don't know. But from the inside, most definitely. And then as for this bar caddy, I think I want to bring it out here. I might do something with like a wall or something with the bar i'm not entirely sure yet it might have like an outline kind of like this or something i don't know i can't do it right now but you guys will see whenever I, I start doing it i guess and then that way we can also put like this kitchenware and stuff it's like glasses and stuff so i feel like that would be perfect to put in here too in this little room that we'll have see so it'll be something like this i don't know i don't want the like the the Great, I just ruined everything. Now go back. Okay, I just, I don't know. I kind of want it to be a half wall now that I'm looking at it. Maybe making it a half wall would make more sense. But it's like, then I don't have anywhere to put these. Unless I find somewhere to stick them in the kitchen. You know what? I guess they can go like up here. Yeah, that doesn't hurt, I guess. And then I don't know, I'll have to figure this out. I'm gonna do something like this, I think. And then we can put this like on the inside and then put this second one here on the outside. And then there is a 
third one right here and I have no idea what to do with this like at all unless like we stick it up here maybe which you know what I might just do that just for the heck of it just to do it um I hate it so I'm just gonna color the inside with that the outside is gonna stay that color okay there we go and then as for the rest of the stuff we have more of this trim we have some more ruins cap we have this barbecue drum we can put out here. Okay, now this is everything that we have left. Um, It's not really a lot. I can easily just put this stuff somewhere except for like all of this stuff right here. I have no idea what to do with that. But like this bone statue thing could definitely go into this closet over here. This little Salvadorian craft cell can go next to this little selling merchant place right here. I think I want to put this bench underneath this right here. So it's kind of like looking out into this like forest over the cliff or whatever. We can also put this little lounger right next to it. I feel like that would be kind of cute. And then, oh my gosh, okay, let me go tediously place this rest of the stuff right here. I can't even talk. Let me go ahead and place this and then I'll get back to you guys. Ta-da! Um, here's the build. <laughs> um, it's definitely something. Um, definitely something, yeah. Um, you remember all those items that were in the basement? I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, I just threw them somewhere. And so I'm gonna give you a tour of the place and gracefully sweep over the spots that, uh, probably don't make sense. We have the downstairs little foyer area, you know, we have our stuff, we, um, yeah, um, like I said, we have some stuff right here. Our room, which we did together, we put the cracks right here. In the bathroom, we have, um, you know, bathroom stuff, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of wall decor, if you've seen. We have our beautiful kitchen living area, yada yada yada. Upstairs, I put a rug here in this little seating area, this statue, some treasure chest. In here, we have our collectibles room. We have this whole little thing. I put them each on like a different tile, I don't know. We have some more stuff. And then yeah, we did the room and the bathroom together and that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys didn't see the random stuff I threw everywhere. Now, as for the backyard, we have our little few things, but the last thing that's left, sorry, I'm spinning the camera a lot, I just noticed. <laughs> the last thing that's left is all of this greenery right here, which we can't just kind of leave piled up in this corner. So I think we are going to work on that. And I think I wanna start with this tree here because it's kind of cool. I might put it like in this corner and then put like a bunch of shrubbery and stuff around it. Kind of like that. And it's okay to throw in some flowers right there too. And then we have this huge grass pile, which I might just stick like right here behind this little thing right there. Kind of hidden away. We have this cute tree, which we can definitely put like right here and probably also stick it like right here. I kind of like this tree. Okay, this giant tree right here is definitely staying all the way back here. Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna keep him at. We have some grass that we can put around the place. Around some of the trees, probably. We have these little thorn thingies right here. Kind of remind me of the ones from Oasis Spring. We have some tiny ones. And then lastly, we have this interesting Brom, Bromeliad plant. Cute, I guess. We can like kind of just stick it here, I think. And then maybe even like put another one next to it. And then that's it. That's it. That's literally it. There's nothing else I can do and there's nothing else I want to do. Um, uh, yeah, here's our build. I'm not really happy with it. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can definitely do way better than this. This just isn't my vibe. You know, I have literally never built with Jungle Adventure. Like, I might have used one or two items out of here, but I don't even come to the world. I don't even remember what the Jungle Adventure is. So, I don't know, maybe one day I'll, I'll actually I'll actually play with it again. <laughs> but yeah, our build's pretty cool. I mean, I'm happy with what I have. I think I'm more happy with the inside than I am with the outside. But yeah, so there it is, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Our first one here is by five on a Friday once again and I'm so excited to see what you guys did with this because there were so many items in city living oh <gasps> holy cow wow oh my gosh look at this <laughs> look at this what 
stop it. <gasps> look at, look, look at the podium, like, looking down. Wow, the bathroom. You have the, no way. The outside is actually phenomenal. It's phenomenal. I have to say, this is one of the best, wow. That is wonderful. Let's go on to the inside. I'm so excited. Inside, we come in. We have our little opening space, our foyer. We come in here. We have a nice little seating area. We oh, it's karaoke. So cool. Ooh, I quite like how they use these to separate the dining and the kitchen. Wow, look at this space right here. It's like has a podium with chairs. You can sit here and like listen to somebody give a speech. That is actually so cool. And look at the Ooh, and look at this bedroom. No way. Look at how they use this to sell. Oh, is this like in an apartment? Oh, stop it. This is so good. I'm in love with this. What the heck? And then over here we have... Oh, this is all one... Up I'm so slow. This is all one apartment over here and it looks so good. Stop it. Five, I'm telling you. You're such a good builder. Oh my god. And then if we come upstairs, we have two more. We have this one right here, which looks like really grungy and nasty. I actually kind of like it. I'm not nasty though. And then over here, we have this one. I love this room. For some reason, I like the green floors. I don't know why. And then this seating area is so wonderful. And they have an upstairs. Wow, with a giant TV. This is great. Is that all? Oh my gosh. That... <laughs> 10 out of 10, definitely from me. I loved that so much. And then we have City Limit by Lilacs. I'm super excited. They said it's not finished. Doesn't matter. It's going to be wonderful, I'm sure. Oh my gosh, it's getting super dark. I'm sure my face cam is like probably like super dark now. You can't even see me. I'll have to like lighten it up or something. <gasps> no, you guys are out here making whole like apartment complexes. Stop it. I love this so much and look how they like come out from that wow is that what that's actually for and look at all the chairs we have the fountain we have the stalls whoa look at this basketball goal cool beans and then you have vendors like in the let's go inside stop it I love this so much and they have cars because they come here and then they come into their little shop Wow. <laughs> okay, we go upstairs. We have apartments, guys. I repeat, we have apartments. Wow, this first one is so nice. Look at this room. I love this so much. Ooh, and look at this one. I quite like the blue and the black. Oh, this one's really nice, too. Look how they did all the paintings and everything. That is actually wonderful. And I love this bed color right here. Oh, this one gives goth family. You didn't tell me Bella was moving in. Wow, that's actually beautiful. What's in this building over here? I'm curious. Oh, we have like karaoke. Okay, and if we go upstairs, yeah, we have like a dining, we have seating. So this is like a shared little space. Um, or so I thought. I thought this was like a shared little space. I think this is just a house. They have a giant apartment building like to themselves. Ooh. Okay, Lila. Okay. Look how this is on a fr No words. Absolutely no words. This is so beautiful. When I think of modern, this is what I think of. You go. You know how to build. You guys know how to build. You really do. Like, I'm, I'm jealous, but, you know, what can I do? <laughs> if you made it this far, thank you so, 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 so much for watching. It really means a lot to me, and it helps the channel out as a whole. Make sure you hit the like button if you did enjoy, and make sure to turn on your notification bell if you're already subscribed. I have a lot of fun videos planned that should be coming out, so make sure you guys tune into that. And with that being said, can't wait to see your builds, and peace and love to you all. Until next time.